Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Q2 FY24 Earnings Conference Call of Marathon Next Gen Reality Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Binay Sarda from ENY. Thank you and over to you. Thanks, ESSC. Good morning to all the participants on the call and thanks for joining this Q2 FY24 earnings call for Marathon Next Gen Reality Limited. Please note that we have mailed out the press release and presentation to everyone and you can also see the results on our website as well as it has been uploaded on the stock exchanges. In case if you have not received the same, you can write to us and we will be happy to send it over to you. Before we proceed with the call, let me remind you that the discussion may contain forward-looking statements that may involve known or unknown risks, uncertainties and other factors. It must be viewed in conjunction with our businesses that could cause future result performance or achievement to differ significantly from what is expressed or implied by such forward-looking statements. To take us through the results of this quarter and answer our questions, we have with us the management of Marathon Next Gen a reality represented by Mr. Chetan Sa, Chairman and Managing Director, Mr. Mayur Sa, Vice Chairman, Mr. Kevali Sa, Project Head, New Homes, Mr. Samyak M. Sa, Project Head, Marathon FutureX and Nexion, and Mr. S. Ramamurthy, Chief Financial Officer and Whole Time Director. We'll be starting the call with a brief overview of the quarter gone path, which will then be followed by Q&A session. With that said, I'll now hand over the call to Mr. Chetan Sa. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Binay. Uh, I have, uh, I'm Chetan Shah, Chairman and Managing Director, Marathon Next Gen Reality Limited. With me is present Mayur Shah, Vice Chairman, and uh, Samyak Shah and Taiwale Shah, both project heads. Uh, we four people are present here. Uh, friends, we are delighted to post yet another quarter of strong performance on the back of robust and resilient demand environment. This consolidation along with the reduction in inventory levels has created an optimistic landscape for us and entire industry. The strong demand for our project and our ability to efficiently execute on our development plans have been key drivers of our success. Our strong performance during the first half of the fiscal year has boosted our confidence and we are steadfast in our belief that we will continue to set new milestones moving forward. This positive outlook for the future is further supported by our healthy launch pipeline and our access to vast land parcels across the MMR region, which are primary, primed to develop. We look forward to the future and great optim with great optimism and anticipate reaching new heights as we continue to shape the real estate landscape in Mumbai. We've already shared quarterly highlights also. I'll just briefly mention about the half yearly highlights. Operational highlights for H1 FY24. Area sold stood at 2,62,900. Booking value stood at 384 crore. Collection stood at 301 crore. Average realization stood at 18,580 per square feet for commercial and 12,666 per square feet for residential. Consolidated financial performance for the half year uh, FY24, net revenue stood at 339 crore compared to 268 crore in uh, H1 FY23. EBITDA stood at 146 crore as compared to 99 crore in H1 FY23. Profit before tax, PBT, stood at 80 crores as compared to 30 crores in previous year, previous half year. Profit after tax stood at 78 crores compared to 27 crores in H1 FY23. Net debt stood at 851 crores as on 30th September 23. On cash flow front, as on 30th September 23, balance collections from sold units completed and ongoing in all launch projects stood at 642 crores. Total pending estimated project cost 
to be incurred stands at 858 crores and total estimated revenue from unsold inventory is at 1727 crore friends i wish to uh, convey happy diwali to all of you and wish a very prosperous new year ahead and now i open uh, the floor for question answer thank you very much we will now begin the question and answer session anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 on the touch tone telephone if you wish to remove yourself from the question queue you may press star and 2 participants are requested to use hands if while asking a question ladies and gentlemen we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles we have a first question from the line of shri gopal agarwal from agman advisory llp please go ahead yeah a uh, good morning sir good morning the conversation is on great set of numbers yes thank you thank you so much yeah sir so just uh, two three questions from my side uh, wanted to know the kind of uh, sales momentum that you are witnessing in your project of uh, monte south future x and millennium yeah i'll ask mayu to answer this yeah uh, good morning mr gopal uh monte south uh, i would like to uh, say first is that it is uh, going very well because what has happened is like tower a uh, is already topped out up to 64 level uh, and we have already given part occupancy to 50 up to 51st floor uh, that is the reason that we have almost near ready very good inventory coming out in tower a and that is the reason we have seeing a great uh, velocity in ready to move in uh, secondly the tower 2 is also at a 38th floor now and there also we are seeing a good uh, movement on sales similarly we are looking at the progress of uh, tower a and tower b in sales we have already uh, done the construction foundation of tower c and tower c segment is again uh, 15 to 20% lower than the ticket size of tower a so they are not competing with each other so tower a is a you know highest level segment and then 10 to 12% down is tower b and tower c is uh, further 10% down so we have mixed inventory from 2 and up 2.75 crore to 7 crore type of flats available and we are seeing a very good velocity uh, in this type of a uh, uh, segment on an average we are selling around 15 to 18 units per month in such a high value ticket size this is a very good velocity uh, in one day south similarly on millennium uh, we have also reached at uh, 20th floor um, uh, near oc uh, out of the 30th floor uh, building and there also we have uh, been selling very well because the commercial buildings are sold very well after the uh, oc is received uh, future x we have already topped out up to 38th floor and we are seeing a very good traction the commercial office market has opened up like anything because in mumbai almost 100% of the uh, the uh, the employees have come back to the office uh, unlike other cities of the world and we are seeing like absolutely normal environment in the occupancy and that is the reason and what has happened is also that there is a the increase in the size per employee from 65 to 80 thus uh, there is a larger space requirement of an office work so in overall you know all these three projects uh, sales have really picked up very well uh, just uh, sabyak shayar briefly i just want to add one more point for future x uh, you may be aware that uh, there was a lower parel bridge uh, in that locality which was closed down for many years and as of last quarter Uh, that bridge has finally been opened uh, and that's a huge uh, infrastructural uh, sort of benefit that the uh, project has received in fact uh, in terms of leads uh, in terms of leasing and sale uh, we have seen a good uh, uptake and we are able to gradually take a maybe higher rate also so that's one big uh, positive that we have received recently for that specific project okay sir G- great update sir Good to know the sales momentum. 
and the uh, what is the minimum IRR that we uh, that we look before taking up any new project per se? Uh, IRR depends on many factors. So what we actually target is uh, uh, profit uh, after tax of 15% uh, on a project level. Uh, now if the investment is uh, you know lower, this can translate into an IRR which is much higher. The, as you can see in our EBITDA uh, numbers, the EBITDA has been uh, between 30 and 40%. Uh, and some of the projects it has gone down to 25%. So, uh, you know, IRR uh, are variable. There is no fixed IRR targeting. What we are doing is a project level targeting. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And so, uh, it would be great if you can throw some light on your upcoming projects in detail. Okay, so in the presentation, we have a slide. <clears throat> so in the upcoming project, in the next few years, we'll be coming up with uh, Bhanduk mainly, uh, Monte South, uh, and next zone uh, some area. Uh, mainly in the next uh, one year, we are targeting around, uh, uh, in Monte South, uh, 3 lakh square feet is what we are targeting. Uh, in Bhanduk, we are targeting around uh, 1 lakh 80,000. Uh, and in uh, next zone, we are targeting around uh, th uh, 2 to 3 lakhs uh, square feet in the coming year. Our slide 17 uh, in the presentation shows upcoming projects, uh, majorly the uh, top 5 contributing uh, projects, uh, totaling to about 31 and half lakh square feet of uh, saleable area and estimated sale value at 4,660 crores. Okay, okay, got it, sir. And the, the, the last thing, sir, the recent uh, the BMC order on pollution, uh, do you think it, this will have any, any impact on the company as such? Or this, this will uh, impact the construction speed or spend something? Well, temporarily, they have given us uh, uh, you know, certain uh, requirement that uh, the periphery wall should be 20 feet or 25 feet with the, uh, you know, uh, this uh, cladding so that the dust particles don't escape the construction site. Then there is a requirement of water sprinkling on the uh, dust that uh, is thrown up, you know, particularly from RMC plants and other things. So these are something which is doable. They will add to a marginal increase in the cost, but uh, there is no great uh, uh, issue here. The major thing comes, you know, when you want, want to transport the uh, uh, debris outside, so that needs to be now planned very well. And, uh, you know, the transportation contractors have to now work with uh, some sort of a coverage on the debris uh, uh, or trucks and uh, water sprinkling before entering, after entering, and all that. So this will uh, work out. These are not a major hindrance at all. Okay, so that's all from my side. So thank you so much in detail. Thank you, Gopal. Thank you. We have our next question from the line of Ajit Mishra, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. So I have uh, two questions. Uh, so revenue during the quarter fell sharply to one, uh, 129 crores. Uh, also the collection fell quarter on quarter. So can you please help us understand the technicality behind it? Well, like you mentioned in the answer to the previous question, the sales velocity has been good. So that uh, adds to new booking and ultimately over few next few quarters it re reflects in the uh, cash flow that is collection. Uh, the progress of the work actually gets reflected in the revenue. So as in we are following percentage completion method. So as in when we complete additional percentage, we recognize the revenue of the sold units. Uh, in that percentage. So these are, you know, ongoing numbers and uh, as you see, the growth has been very good. So the growth uh, in terms of execution is high and that reflects in the revenue. Growth in terms of booking is high, that reflects in the pre-sales number. And uh, growth uh, momentum is maintained because the cash flow, that is collections are high. So all, you know, on all fronts, 
we have been doing very good and uh, most of our projects are also financially closed projects in the sense that even if there was booking that uh, gets slowed down there would be a bank finance available to complete the construction so the pace of construction is not directly dependent on the booking however we have not had to borrow more uh, and we have been able to sustain from the collection that we collect from our customers just uh, quickly i just wanted to add one more thing uh, you know real estate uh, due to its nature of business uh, ideally should not be seen uh, quarter on quarter uh, while i think we have done much better than the last q2 you know there will be one or two quarters you know where things may not align because uh, sometimes these these are long gestation timelines and things like that but uh, overall on an annual basis i think we should more than or if not uh, cover up and do much better than that. got it got it sir so also uh, if you can uh, talk a bit about any price increase that you have taken in any of your projects in this quarter and your growth plans over the next 3 to 5 years down the line yeah that that gets reflected we are sharing two numbers one is a uh, average residential sale value and another is average commercial sale value so that uh, is uh, reflective of uh, uh, consistently higher number and in the uh, last quarter if you see the commercial values average commercial rate has uh, moved from 18400 and hmm so actually uh, in our uh, residential and commercial the prices are going up uh, but if you look at our average rate commercial you might see uh, some dip because in this quarter we saw a lot of sales from our project marathon millennium which is in mulund so the price in mulund is slightly lower than loperel uh in uh, residential uh, also it all depends on the project that we sell for instance if you sell bando you will see a uh, slightly price increase and if you look at the uh, panway you will see a slight average price slight uh, decrease now talking about per project uh, every project on its own prices have increased uh, at least to 5 to 7% uh, you know uh, over the last one year itself so that's the kind of price increase that we are seeing per project the uh, price increase also depends on the percentage uh, completed if, if it is nearing uh, occupation certificate the price increase is the highest and uh, if it is uh, you know uh, nearing foundation the price increases are lower so but overall there is an uptick between 5 and 10% uh, all right got it got it sir uh, that's from my side thank you i'll get back in queue yeah thank, thank you thank you We have a next question from the line of Monica Arora from Share Giant. Please go ahead. No, well, thank you for the opportunity, sir. Um, I have uh, two three questions. So, can you please provide an update related to the acquisition of 14 acres of land uh, in Bhandup? And uh, have we planned anything in terms of launching something on that in the near future? My second question would be if you can provide details on the redevelopment projects which are in pipeline for the company and also if there is we have decent land land bank with us so so the pipeline what you are holding and from launching more projects and double and maybe several sales and increasing momentum what all is there in that front and my last question would be how many square feet overall you are planning to launch in Uh, this year, like another half remaining of this year, and FY twenty five. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Bonika. Uh, as for the fourteen acre acquisition, I last able to uh, speak on it. We have already launched uh, on a project there, and uh, rehab buildings are uh, getting constructed. So yeah, uh, Monica, uh, the fourteen acre project uh, as we speak this quarter will be uh, coming into the listed entity. um and you'll be seeing numbers uh, next quarter that being said uh, it is a rehabilitation a slum rehabilitation project uh, 14 of the 14 acres one acre is what uh, we cleaned up and uh, you know re built the slum uh, building and we have actually brought the uh, slum dwellers back into the uh, the new building the new sra building that we have constructed and for the sale uh, building we have the ground vacant as we speak an excavation work is going on as for the sales uh, sales are looking really good in this area uh, typically the ticket sizes from 40 lakhs to 60 lakhs and in this range 
we're seeing a good uh, you know sales again the sales numbers you will see in the in uh, the next quarter or uh, whenever the revenue recognition happens uh, so that's uh, 14 acres and uh, this is one acre of the 14 acres but we intend to launch uh, you know year on year at least uh, one acre uh, uh, you know year on year project so that way you can you know kind of understand uh, how soon we'll be wrapping up the project and and uh, that's how you can calculate your cash flow as well. And uh, second thing was like regarding redevelopment. We have uh, we are still looking at uh, projects. There is no redevelopment project that we have uh, actually took on hand. It will take an, at least another two quarters before any uh, news uh, can be out on redevelopment. As far as the uh, pipeline of projects. Uh, we have that upcoming project by, uh, slide number 17 in our presentation, which is immediate uh, upcoming project. And we have also shared a slide where the group land bank is available for uh, future exploitation. So if you want to have a look at that uh, immediate upcoming project, slide 17 tells you that there is a 31 and a half lakh square feet of launch sellable area available and uh, this will be uh, most likely be launching in uh, 12 to 36 months and further uh, 36 to 48 months for completion. At, uh, the estimated value of uh, this pipeline itself is 4,660 crores. On top of that, this Bhanduk plan will keep on coming and Mayur will share some uh, more so highlight on this. Your last question that uh, in 2024, uh, what is your um, approximately game plan of launching? Approximately total uh, 9 lakh square feet across Monte South, Neopark, uh, and next zone 4 lakh square feet. So approximately around 1200 crores of uh, um, out of this 4600 crores is we are looking at launching in 2024. Okay. Sure. Thank you so much. Sir. Thanks. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. We have a next question from the line of Sukhin, mm -hmm. an individual investor. Please go ahead. <coughs> Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, so, when do you uh, plan to launch the phase three of Monte South as well as the phase three of Next Zone and Neopark? Also, uh, what are the other projects in the pipeline which you plan to launch in the future? Okay, uh, phase three consists of tower four and uh, commercial, uh, which is uh, yet away because right now we have just launched tower three at foundation stage. So that will be another uh, one and a half to two years away. Uh, as for uh, other launches, uh, Mayur just shared uh, in, uh, an answer to the last question and he'll repeat that. So in 2024, we, we intend to launch uh, additional area of Monte South 3 lakh square feet. Uh, Neopark uh, phase 3, uh, we plan to launch 1 lakh 80,000. Neopark C, we would uh, like to uh, launch around 60,000. And next zone, uh, phase 3, around 4 lakh square feet. Altogether, close to a million square feet in 2024, uh, amounting to 1200 crores value. Yeah, does that answer your question? Uh, yeah, sir. So, so the second question is, uh, what is the approximate value of the unsold ready to move in inventory of your residential and commercial projects? Yeah, if you see the slide in the, our presentation, uh, we have shared all those numbers. So, uh, as uh, Q2 FY24, uh, Monte South has around uh, 47,000 uh, square feet, uh, that's amounting to around 100 crores. Uh, next zone has around uh, 61,000 square feet, uh, that's amounting to 30, 38 crores. And some area of future X is uh, unsold. So uh, that's the unsold area in residential and commercial. Uh, this is future X mainly we received OC, uh, uh, I think, last quarter. Uh, and hence you you might see slightly uh, larger numbers in commercial which are uh, uh, OC but unsold. And also in when you look at commercial, typically they are sold uh, after OC a fair chunk. So, and uh, just to add for future, I, I think close to 1.6 lakh is the current uh, unsold and ready. 
however uh, as we speak uh, uh, considering some of the leases that we've already done in q3 so that may not reflect in q2 uh, close to 55 odd thousand square feet is leased so roughly a third of what is unsold in future x is actually leased which we have an opportunity to do as a pre lease sell and the balance is ready and so so just the clarification that all unsold inventory is not necessarily something that is available for sale because we have already leased one third of that uh, in the uh, previous uh, till uh, end of previous quarter yeah okay sir thank you sir thank you we have a next question from the line of kavita an individual investor please go ahead uh, thank you sir for taking my question and for this opportunity uh you have said that uh, you are expecting around 5 to 7 percent price hike in the existing ongoing project i just wanted to have a little uh, longer view or medium view in this uh, so what do you think about uh, over next three years the price hike look like maybe for you and also for the industry if you can give a overview yeah mayur will answer that so kavita uh, what uh, kaivalya said already is that 5 to 7% on an average we have already realized increase in the prices in the last one year the momentum across the inventory is we are seeing uh, very good whether it is a new homes which are you know close to 60 lakhs or affordable housing uh, of 80 to 80 lakhs to 1 crore and we are also seeing similar Uh, quicker movement of sales in the range of two and half to seven crore inventory. Uh, the typically what you see the good quality branded projects are you know rare to find in Mumbai, and that is also giving giving you know brand and people who have delivered a good project with the quality uh, construction are getting overall premium. to the market and uh, we are seeing that if there is a you know good project i try to see that maybe this another 7 to 10% uh, increase in the prices are quite likely to achieve achievable in next three years as a policy, as a policy we have had we we are not uh, holding the inventory to increase the prices so we would sell at whatever best rate that we can get and even that we have seen 5 to 7% uptake because we are in the making of uh, constructing of the premises and uh, you know if we sell faster we will launch another project faster so that would be you know philosophy at the base of uh, sale price so it's not just the higher profit margin that they would we would be looking but higher volumes we would be looking so sure. that's helpful sir so just one last question on your debt uh, there is some marginal increase uh, during the quarter but uh, going forward how you see the debt repayment program or debt repayment structure should be and uh, where do you see in probably two years the debt should be or you believe that because the volumes are also increasing like you said uh, that debt would kind of remain at the same level thank you yeah so that's how the policy has been uh because the cost of debt is much lower than the uh, profits that we are generating so in that sense the leveraging is helping us however uh, you know after seeing the pandemic uh, situation where the debt was the one that was impacting badly on everybody's balance sheet uh, we try to keep it under uh, control by keeping a 1.0 debt to equity ratio uh, around 1.0 as our target now this gets uh, reduced from two perspective one debt actually reduces another is equity actually increasing because it's a ratio and as you have seen the equity has been increasing at least at the rate of 20 25 crore per quarter and the debt also gets reduced over the next uh, two years the debt is likely to uh, reduce however we have already shared earlier that ideally we would like to keep the debt equity not below 0.6 so uh, 0.5 is actually a good uh, uh, you know ratio and uh, between 0.5 and 1 is what is manageable ratio if you see our debt service coverage ratio that has gone to 2.2 this quarter 
uh, which very clearly says that uh, we are able to not only pay the interest but also the upcoming uh, repayment schedule of next 12 months. So, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. We have a next question from the line of Girish Gulati from Quality Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, I'm audible. Yes, 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 Girish, very much. Yes, sir. So I'll like to congratulate uh, Chairman Sir, MD Sir, Mr. Chetan, and uh, Miu Sir for yet another remarkable uh, achievement, sir. So Chetan Sir, you are a structural engineer, and Miu Sir is a civil engineer, and henceforth, you know, I presume that all the cash flows and the balance sheet would be ready in your mind for the next five years and the kind of work which you are doing and uh, would also acknowledge you know the kind of uh, remarkable corporate governance which we have been showing over the last few quarters uh, probably four quarters now and uh, and along with the performance of course and uh, the entire management team coming up on the calls and showing, showing you know a lot of enthusiasm over the call uh, which shows their commitment dedication not only towards the work but towards the shareholder as well and showing that, yes, shareholder community, minority community is also important for us. And, um, so, uh, I mean, doing such a, uh, doing something big, I always think is a uh, spiritual job. So, I would uh, certainly pray that all the divine forces are aligned with you for this uh, wonderful endeavor you, which you are into. And wishing the entire team uh, and near and dear ones as well a very, very happy Diwali. Uh, that's it from my side. No questions, but thank you, sir. Thank you so much for everything. Yep. Thank, thank, thank you, Giris. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you. Your input is always welcome, and uh, we appreciate your uh, comments. And uh, like you said, we have one more engineer, Kagala, also joining us, and the next generation, all three are also well educated, US educated, and they are put in their systems and processes uh, to help uh, carry marathon name forward. Thank you very much. I mean, the feeling Thank you. Uh, to, you know, bet on a great management uh, cannot be expressed into words. But uh, thank you, sir. Thank you once again. All the very best to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, to ask a question, please press star and one on your phone now. We'll take a next question from the line of Dr. Amit Vora from the Homeopathic Clinic. Please go ahead. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, first of all, I totally agree with what Mr. Girish said, and I also congratulate all of you and a happy Diwali. And now with my question, you and uh, your family as well. Have a great time. Yeah. Uh, now with my question, sir. The realizations have come down from last quarter 22.5, 22.25 uh, 20, 20, uh, thousand five hundred around to eighteen thousand five hundred in this uh, half year for commercial. And the residential, it has come down from 16,500 odd figures to 12,500. 16,500 for quarterly, Q1. And for half year, it has come down to 12,500. So, in reason why do you see this realization coming down? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, any other question? Yeah, this is my first question. And Second question is, I want you to know the landmark of uh, Bandup you presented that about 30 to 500 crores, 2 to 5 crores. Where it is exactly? LBS, near Asian. Oh, location. Yeah, location. Yeah, location. Okay. 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 So, the first thing is that you have to understand that the realization per square feet that we are sharing is an average realization per square feet. That's the realization per square feet that we are sharing is an average realization of commercial. Now, that average consists of majorly in commercial two parts. One is Mulun, another is lower parent. The lower parent prices have also increased and the Mulun prices have also increased. But the component of Mulun in the, uh, you know, total collection during the quarter sometimes goes up. So the average can come down. However, the commercial prices have formed up, like we said in the previous uh, uh, answer to the question, uh, the commercial prices have also formed up, the residential prices have also formed up uh, between 5 to 10 percent. Uh, if you want, we can give that uh, breakup of uh, commercial. So, so uh, again to answer that, in last uh, Q1, uh, we sold around 5,600 uh, square feet of Millennium and 25,000 square feet of Future X. However, in uh, Q2, we sold 38,000 square feet of Millennium 
and 17,000 square feet of future X. So if you look at the share of Millennium, Millennium has fairly increased and uh, the approximate price of Millennium is around 12,000 uh, to 13,000. Hence the average rate of uh, commercial dropped dramatically because of Mulum sales. Uh, but overall, each and every project itself is staying uh, a price rise. Yeah. Similarly uh, for residential also. Yeah, similarly for residential. Similarly for residential as well. We have a Panvel component, Panvel residential next zone, uh, you know, contributing in a higher ratio as compared to the previous quarter. So that is why the sale realization average rate uh, drops. Uh, answering yes, your yes, previous yes. question, uh, yes. look, uh, land is uh, all uh, within one kilometer of LBS mark. Uh, it is on the west of LBS Mark, that is between LBS Mark and the mountain uh, on the uh, uh, west side. So there is a about two, two and a half kilometer strip of land uh, where uh, these uh, projects are located. Uh, the new metro that is close to, so where is close to Asian Bains? Sorry? Yeah, you, well, close yeah. meaning within two kilometers of that, yeah, Asian Bains. The area is also called uh, Gadavnaka. Uh, that's where uh, more, this whole 14 acre land park is. Right. The, the new 2250 project. Uh, I'm sorry? Yeah, I, I, project, all, no? these are, uh, all these projects are within 2 kilometers of each other. So uh, they are in proximity of Asian paints or you know other uh, uh, industrial units that you see on the uh, LBS mark. So if you Google map Shivaji Talao, it's like one minute walking from there. Yeah, I actually stay somewhere close by only. That's why I have an idea of the, the this so area. You, uh, close by Garden Naka is the spot where the project yeah. is. In fact, I am also a resident of Marathon Group building only. Very nice. <laughs> I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so you say it is close by to Garden Naka area. New new project. Yeah. And uh, uh, one more thing about the realization, I hope this quarter the realization hasn't come down for individual projects. As you said, this project wise, the sales have changed. Yes. Yes, you are right. Yes, you are right. right. Proportionate area of a lower value yeah, yeah. may have increased, but overall sales realization has increased. Everything, all the other uh, financial numbers are on uptake. Okay, okay. And sir, one last question. Uh, question. So this uh, joint development model, are you looking only with Marathon Reality only or you are open to other builders or other other parties also? Since we have a bigger land bank. Well, we are open to that. Uh, we have not closed, but currently most of the projects are uh, in this uh, uh, format. But we are open to looking at projects with other uh, land bank owners also. And any uh, redevelopment projects of around Worli or something which was, you know, you are planning something like that? Yeah, we have been looking, uh, uh, but uh, the announcement may be two quarters away because this due diligence and other things take very long time. And currently we are still scouting for the uh, right project. Uh, we are definitely looking at Worli, Valkeshwar, Petter Road, that kind of a redevelopment area. And there have been uh, four or five proposals already on the uh, drawing board for which we are uh, discussing. Thank you so much. Thank you and wish you all, all the best and happy Diwali once again. Happy Diwali. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, to ask a question, please press star and one on your phone now. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the last question for today. I now hand the conference over to management for closing comments. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much for participating in this conference call. Uh, we are happy to note the uh, value input that you have given. Some of the questions that you have asked also, uh, you know, tells us how investors uh, look at the uh, company and that, uh, you know, puts us uh, on the toes that we should also be working towards 
improving some of the other numbers. Uh, we are very happy that the growth of the company has been beyond what we had already envisaged and uh, uh, all the investors who have participated with the company have also put in their uh, valuable investment with us and together we can grow. Uh, happy Diwali and a prosperous uh, new year to you all. Thank you, sir. On behalf of Marathon Next Gen Reality Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us and you may not disconnect your line.